Hi there, this is Esther. In this video, we're gonna make this shape together. So let's start with a circle. You can do that by pressing L on your keyboard or select this shape on your tool panel. Hold down to your shift key to make it perfect. Instead of an oval, you're making a perfect circle. Let's make a duplicate of this guy. Select it and hold down to option key and start dragging. While you're dragging, you want to hold down to shift key as well. So your copy is perfectly horizontal. So you're looking at the overlapped area. So that'll be your leaf. Once you're done with that, select both circle and click on Pathfinder tool. If you don't have it here stacked on the right, you can come over to Window and Pathfinder. It's pretty obvious what each one does. If you don't know, just experiment. And in this case, we want the intersect because that will give us the overlapped area. Just click on it. Boom. Now we have our basic shape for our leaf. So now let's move on to the little stripes. Basically, they are really long rectangles. I want to press M on my keyboard to create a rectangle and then use the same method to duplicate. You want to select by pressing V and hold on to option as you drag, hold on to shift. So once you have done it once, just press command D to repeat the previous action. So that will save you some time. Maybe I'll do it one more time. Command D. So now I want to give it a different color so that it's not too confusing. Just double click on the swatch. And I click on OK. It's not too contrasty to the background, so I'm going to use something much darker. All right, so now we want to rotate this thing. So I'm going to press E for free transform tool. Depending on what angle you want to go for. So I want mine to be 45 degree. So I do want to hold down to shift key. So that will constrain it to multiples of 45. So once I'm happy with that, you can just bring it down over here. If you want to space it out a little bit, you can also just drag one of them and use a line tool. Select all four and take out the align panel. So now you want to give it a good center alignment. You want to click on this icon. So now we have our stripes aligned horizontally and then you can move it around. So right now we want to carve out the intersection. The cleanest way to do it is to select all five and come over to the Pathfinder panel and use the second option, which is minus front. That will pretty cleanly get rid of the things that you don't want to have over here. So just to make it a little bit more decorative, you can add another geometric shape. So I'm just going to draw a random oval by pressing L, which is the ellipse tool. And select a different color. I'm pressing I to sample the, the other white. And, and then just move it around until you're happy about it. This time, what we want to get rid of is the kind of the moon shape over here. In my opinion, the easiest way to do it is to use Shape Builder, which is Shift M. So this will highlight whatever area that your mouse is pointing at. So this part, if you just click on this, it will separate this shape. But in this case, you can even save one more step by holding on to Option and it will get rid of whatever shape you're clicking. That's what we want. So boom, now we have our shape. So if you like this type of tutorial, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. 
I also teach a bunch of Skillshare classes on Illustrator and iPad Procreate. If you're interested, I have a two month for free link in the description box. Until next time, bye.